On the sport tag. On the bottom. On the bottom. Try a big bore head. What is going on guys? Gabe Feldman from Floor Bass TV and you are watching another episode today. I am actually going out on a solo mission on this boat right here. It's a bit of a mess right now, the Carolina J16 that I've been working on. Awesome boat though. And I've been wanting to get one of those big bull reds that if you guys follow me on Instagram, you've seen that I've caught a lot of them, 40 inch big bull reds. But I've been wanting to get one to eat on artificial and eat on camera for once. We finally got one to eat on camera. So we had a crazy night. Check out the video, guys. You don't want to miss it. Let's get to the video. All right, there she is. All right, guys. So I'm approaching the first bridge that I'm going to try fishing tonight. I'm going to turn this light off so you may not be able to see it as much. I'm going to turn it on as things get crazy. That's insane, we still got an incoming tide here. Almost fully income tide. Tide schedule is late. Nice fish. On the spool tack. Nice fish. On the spool tack. On the bottom. On the bottom. Try a big bull red. Oh my god. Oh my god. Big fish. Messed up reel. Big fish. Oh my gosh. Guys, if you think it's time for a new reel, comment below. Because it is. And I suck, but this is exactly why I'm going to start investing in better gear. Because I am starting to figure this inshore game out. Oh, oh, I hope this is a giant PB snook. He's feeling like a big red. Oh, this reel is not cut out for this, man. Oh. Ooh. Oh, he's wearing me out. That's a big, strong fish. That's a nice fuck. friggin' fish. I'm turn off the, turn off the spot lock. Oh. I'm gonna retire this reel. All night. Got here. Jeez. Oh. Big red. Bull red. Nice. On the spool tack. 
That's what we came out here for in the first 10 minutes of fishing. Jeez. All right. She sees that light and she's like, hell yeah, no. I do not like that. Okay. Okay. Let's get this girl in. Oh my gosh. Look at that upset. Oh my gosh. Choked it. Freaking choked it. Oh my gosh. That's one way to land a fish. Look at that, guys. Look at that. So we didn't get to the jigging yet. But that's a swim bait. Oh my god. Oh my I hope you guys can see this pretty well. Oh, look at that. Okay. That's another 40 inch try. Biggest one I've ever caught on camera. I'm gonna stand back a little bit. Wow. That's like a 40, I would say top middle 40, 45 possibly. Just a beautiful fish. Turn on 40, 43 or so. Here's the tail. Big. Big. Look at that. 43. 43. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Spool tack hanging out of his mouth. And just. Look at how he choked that thing, man. Look at that. girl oh my gosh I need to give her a minute to get revived oh, or not oh my gosh she was gone oh my god wow all right guys so retied on a slightly lighter rod here the spool tuck basically you just tighten this up and your hook goes right back in there and it spools up the leader inside the bait. Very, very cool. So basically, those of you guys who don't know exactly what a spool tech is, this is the setup. Basically, it is a little swim bait that um, has a wire that detaches, that engages when you get a hook set. So, um, actually keeps you from breaking off. You're allowed to use a lot of lighter leaders and you don't have to worry about breaking off because of this steel leader. So that's really cool. A twenty dollar lure, but it also will catch a big fish, and you don't have to worry about breaking off from them as much. So very, very cool product. First fish I've ever, ever caught on spool tech. I've never. This is the first spool tech I've ever bought because I don't want to spend twenty dollars on a swim bait. <laughs> but they work. They definitely work very well. Decent snuck on. So I'm not sure if I had the camera going for that last bite there, but there's a nice snook. Probably only like a 22 inch or 24 inch or so. Smash the swim bait, rolling it slow on the bottom. There he goes, second fish of the night. There's another nice one. Another little snook. Oh, it's actually a tarpon, guys. We've got the slam. Oh, wait, it's a freaking 
It's just a very aerial trout. And it's a giant. <laughs> very, very nice trout. Wow. Not expect that. Oh. No, God! Just like that, he's gone. Whew. Very nice trout. Peter touched him, guys. I think you saw that. Ladyfish. Ladyfish, of course. Wow, that was super random. I actually got him! Oh my god! What the hell is that? A jack? It's big. Holy crap. Turn off this trolling motor for a minute. Oh my god, I just saw something bust out in the open on some mullet. I made one cast. I'm hooked up. I'm pretty sure it's a jack. But it's a big one. <laughs> Oh my god. It's a freaking catfish. That's one of the bigger ones. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Look at the size of this thing, guys. Alright, so we stuck it out as long as we said we were gonna do, guys. There's the sun. <laughs>